Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss about WordPress posts. So basically, as discussed earlier, WordPress is a blog engine. Blog, which is a short form for web log. So a log system where we will be storing or logging our information on the web. Now, what exactly is a log? So log term basically means that whatever event or information or content that you are going to store, it is associated with the date and time uh, when that event happened or when that event was triggered or when you created your post, etc. For example, if you are working on servers or Linux type of systems, for a lot of things you will find log files. Like for example, here we have Apache and if we have a look at the access log, of Apache, you will notice that there are a lot of entries. Let's just have a look at this last entry over here, which tells us the IP address and more importantly, it is associated with the date and time. Fine, here it says 18th May. Some time is mentioned over here and plus 530, that means uh, plus 530 from GMT. And this is the event that took place. Fine, so this is the content and this is the time. This is usually also referred as a timestamp when the event occurred. Now, in general, if you see a logging system, what happens is the latest entry is added at the end. Right? A diary, a normal diary which people used to maintain earlier was also a log mechanism. And in a manual book or notebook, when you maintain log or any information, what will happen is your latest information will be towards the end. Now here in WordPress, whenever we create a post, post is automatically associated with the date and time. Very interestingly, WordPress will show you the latest post first. And obviously that is the interest people have. Let us say if, this is, if you are maintaining a news website with WordPress. So the latest news should be shown directly as the first item on the first page or the landing page of your WordPress. So here what we see is the landing page and there is a demo post associated with the date and time. So in this video, we want to see how to create a post. And one more point that is to be noticed is this display of information, which is the latest post or event shown first is referred as a reverse chronological order. So how do we create a post? Log in into your WordPress dashboard as usual and here you will see on the left hand side there is a tab called as posts from here you can see all post add new categories tags and so on so let's click on this post here you will see all your posts which you can manage from here add modify edit etc but if you want to add a new post you can click here new there's another default shortcut for creating post media page and other things so to create a post, you can use any of these. We will click on add new. So here, what you see is our WordPress add post section or page. Here, this is a new type of editor that has been added to WordPress. The default editor, which was changed in WordPress some 5x series. This is a block level editor. That means every time you want to add something, you can add as a block. So here, this is a title block and then you can decide to choose another block. It's not complicated, it's simply a block mechanism where you have to decide what you want to add. If you click on this plus icon over here, you will get to see what kind of thing you want to add, paragraph, image, heading, gallery and so on. If you want all the functionality to be seen, you can click on this plus symbol over here and here it is showing you blocks that you can add with respect to text, with respect to media and so many other things. Okay. So right now what we are going to do is we are going to simply add a title over here and let us say test post in WordPress. So this is our title for the post and now what we need to do is we want to create a paragraph over here. Fine. So this is by default a paragraph over here and we want to add something. 
Now, when you will be working with WordPress or other content management system and you are trying to create a demo website, what happens is we cannot always think of an actual content to be generated all the time. So what you can do is there is a site called as lipsum.com. So this is a dummy text that was used earlier for typesetting and printing purposes. Still, this site allows us to have some dummy text and you can decide how much dummy text you are looking for. So we can say let's create at least five paragraphs and generate this dummy text over here. Fine. So this dummy text has been generated for me and I can copy paste it from here. Fine. So this dummy text I will paste it over here and since there are five paragraphs it should create five paragraphs for me. Fine. So now my paragraphs are created. Okay. Now, next thing is how we save this post and other things related to this post. Now, if you look at this site, you have a save draft option. If you don't want to immediately publish it, you can save it as draft. You can preview it how the post will actually look because we would be using different themes and other things that will change the look and feel and you can publish it immediately. Fine. Apart from that, here it is on block. So if you click on any of these blocks, it will show you some context based menus pertaining to that particular block. Fine. So you could make some changes, make the text small, large and so many other things and certain basic things like bold italics underline, you can select it and change it from here. Fine. So some other things are here, which we will be looking in details later on probably. Now coming to this post tab, once I have finalized my post, here are some things that are associated with the post. Visibility public, that means anyone who is visiting my website, whether the user is logged in or not or whatever, they can see my post. Fine. So there is public, private, password protected and so on. Again, how to set these things, we will see later on when we discuss about users. Publish immediately. Now, sometimes you may want to publish an article later on. So you could set a date and time from here and then the post will be visible once that date and time has occurred. Template, it provides different templates. So let it be on a single template right now. We will discuss that also later on. This is the URL for the post, how it will look. Stick to the top of the blog. In certain times, you may want to have a post that should always come like a sticky comment or something like that you might have seen on YouTube or other uh, things. Here, if you want this post to be visible, that means coming back to this demo site, hello world. So a post that should be the first thing all the time. So other posts will keep on coming later on after this. So if you want that, you can set it as a stick to this. Pending review is if you want someone to review it again, that is based on uh, more users and other things. Move to trash is to delete the post. Next part is categories. Now, whenever we are going to create our posts, fine, the posts could fall into different categories. Let us say I am using WordPress for doing some technical reviews or something like that for different products or something, or I am posting articles of different type of content management systems or Linux or something. So let us say I am posting articles about Linux. So I could create a category called as Linux. Now, if I'm posting articles about other operating systems also, I could create another category called as operating systems. Fine. So uh, this makes searching our posts and categorizing our posts easier. So here, this there is already existing a category called as test. I can select that. If you want, you could add a new category by clicking in this section and adding a category from here. Now, if you have a parent category and a subcategory, let us say I am doing a post about Linux and Linux is an operating system. So I could have a category called as operating system. And then under that, I could have a category Linux. So parent category could be operating system. So something like that. So a post can go into multiple categories. This allows searching and segregating posts in an easier manner.
that is your categories next is tags tags are the keywords that reflect the primary content of our post so we can have multiple tags over here so if i'm talking about a linux command let us say or if i'm talking about wordpress post so i could put the tags like wordpress comma as the tag then posts adding posts right suppose this article is talking about primarily these are the three keywords so that makes it this thing there is some featured image which we can add and xrept xrept is basically what will be shown in this page when the title and some other content is shown now by default if you don't put a xrept it will take few words from this area and display it but if you want something else to be displayed instead of this initial text so you can put it over here and we can say this is a test post for wordpress okay then there are allow comments and pingbacks and other things now we can say publish this post you can do the preview also before posting it i'll just publish this post once i say publish my post is published and i can view post from here but rather than that i'll just go to the wordpress site press enter and here is my test post in wordpress and this is the excerpt which is showing up over here when if you would have not given excerpt it would have taken that now depending upon the theme your posts and a few lines from that post will show up over here one after the another in this particular theme it is showing as block by block now if you want to look at your post you can click on the post title and the whole post can be seen fine so here it says posted on this in text in in test by text so to test is the category these are the tags and you could post comments and other things on this so our post is ready once your post is ready you have published it you can go back to the dashboard by clicking on this icon over here now you can see there are two posts and your posts can be managed from here so this is how you can add posts now you can try adding multiple posts categories and tags for the same